Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You got your amazing vlogging from Portacot, Nigeria. So I just got back from Abuja a few few hours ago. This is going to be another vlog. So I'm about to unpack what I got from Abuja, and from Abuja I went straight to the market, straight to I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, from when I got back from Abuja from the airport, I went straight to the market to do some cooking and uh, what else? I'll be cooking cooking stew, soup, and uh, alright plantain. Yeah, so basically I just want to unpack and maybe cook and we chit chat right i'll talk to you guys in a few minutes yeah so guys this was the asa fish i got from use market in abuja that vlog will still be on, on my channel and the fish is for my customer in uh, us so since i went to abuja i decided to pick it up myself also see my long time customer the vlog will be on, on my channel soon yeah, this is me unboxing and just showing you guys what I got. I got some stuff. I also got my for my sister. I got tatashi. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I saw the tatashi. They are so big. Like the sizes. I've not I've seen the sizes in Spartaco before, but they are very really expensive. But in Abuja it was so affordable and the sizes were so big. I got some onions which I had no luggage, so I knew these things would not be up to 20 kgs i said okay let me just carry this thing seems i'll be carrying fish too so i got these onions from basket to, you are going to see it in the mabuja market vlog i don't know when that vlog is going up so but this is me pretty much unpacking and showing you all what i got from the market continue enjoying this video you guys this is the asa fish correct asa oh my god this asa is so big you guys are going to see it it's so big so fresh ah my goodness like if you're watching me and you've not heard that asa fish catfish from me i don't know what you're waiting for by the way, if you don't know, I can go Nigerian food stuff from Nigeria to every part of the world. Please patronize your girl, okay? Patronize me anywhere you are, American, Canada, Australia, any country. Patronize me. Keep enjoying this video, okay? Asa fish going to U.S. To my U.S. customers, hello! So... I literally, all by myself, went to pick this fish up. I think the vlog should be all by now. This fish are, he God, can you see? You guys see? See how gigantic this fish are? So big. This is Asa fish, one cutter. So this is me unpacking what I got from my trip in Abuja. This fish is going to the US. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm done. I just want to open it so air can touch it because ever since I've been in Abuja, it has been packed here. So I can just leave it for Bruce to touch it. I'm going to set this aside now so I can start cooking. Half of uh, tomatoes, half of um, half stew to cook. So I'll just carry you guys along whilst we chit chat about something very important. things at the same time i was blending tomatoes trying to parboil it trying to cook fresh okra trying to dye so i'm just doing this i said okay let me just set this camera aside once i'm settled i can now chit chat with you her yeah so i quickly want to talk about jealousy in marriage is it this guy is back he's crying I'm cooking. See, 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 Stop 
stop pranking my son. <laughs> if you have a prank carries that wasn't yet back. Anyway. Oh no, they are bringing it. They are bringing it. Is it the cattle? Uh, yes, pure bliss, yes. Yeah, you guys, sorry, I got distracted. My son just came back from school. So I quickly want to chit chat with you guys because jealousy in marriage. Mommy, do you prank me? I wanted to prank you. <laughs> um, jealous, jealousy in marriage. Like having a spouse that's jealous and having a spouse, basically having a spouse that's jealous, either your husband or your wife in a relationship, either your fiance or your fiance. <laughs> And then what's your take regards husband is cheating? I'm saying this because it's a like a real life story. I don't want to mention names, of course. And you guys, you all know that I'm a sort of like a cell group leader in my church. And a group of over 10 women in my church, we just pray together, hang out together and talk about real life situation. And that's just basically our meeting. Yeah, so... I have a sister that told me about something that was disturbing a few weeks ago. I said, okay, let me come on here and just discuss it with you guys to see. Let me come on here and chat with you guys and see what you guys have to say regards this matter. I need you to leave your honest opinion in the comment section. I'm busy dicing my kanda. I don't know what you guys call this, but we call it kanda. I'm busy dicing it for my fresh okra. This is my fresh okra. So I'm just setting, I just want to quickly sort out this so I can start cooking my fresh okra. So basically, she she's married for over nine years, but husband is fond of breaking her phone. Husband is fond of breaking her phone whenever she gave her a phone and she find out that she's on WhatsApp or Facebook. The husband takes the phone and breaks the phone and after a few days gives her the money to buy another phone so i couldn't really understand why we someone do that other way if you don't want her to use a phone of course and if you don't want her to use a phone why buying that phone destroying the phone and giving that money again and for some for some reason i don't think i don't know correct me if i'm wrong this is my unpopular opinion why would you not want your wife to have a phone and you have a phone like is it normal is it right please leave your thoughts in the comment section why would you you're comfortable you're comfortable with your wife using a nokia torch or using a phone that is not it that doesn't have internet like basically a, a non-internet phone just a normal phone and you're using a a good phone the latest samsung in town the latest iphone in town like how brother uncle how then in the case of also women that does not uh, trust their husband, husband that have passcode on their phone and doesn't want their wife to know the password, but want to know their wife's password. If you are passwording our phone, really, you, you want to be secretive in our marriage, you want to password your phone, password your password and let me password my password. Yes. Because you can password your phone and want, want to know my own passcode. So a whole lot of things, I've been hearing a lot of things about marriage lately that was like, oh my goodness, this is something I need to share. And I think we need to really talk about this old jealousy thing in marriage, this old husband calling wife, where are you? Where have you been? I don't know if because I'm lucky to have husband that we talk and he knows where I'm going to at every given time, but he doesn't call me to say, are you with anybody there? Okay, pass the phone. Okay, are you, are you going to see Lily? Okay, pass the phone to Lily. Okay, pass the phone to Lily's husband to, to be sure he's there. Uh, to be sure I went to Lily's place. Most times when I'm with my friends, I'll be the one to say, oh, I'm with so so person. And I'll like, do you want to talk to the person? It doesn't even bother. So maybe I'm already used to husband that don't really bother that uh, wherever you are, as long as you're okay, he calls you and you know exactly where you are, it's fine with it. So what do you think about this one I just shared now? <laughs> Buying a phone for your wife, and finding that she's chatting and not necessarily according to her she's not chatting with any guy that like, how can you even she, how can she say how can she even chat with anybody when she's not on facebook she's not on instagram she's just managed to install whatsapp on her phone and she can't even use her phone in peace because her husband literally goes through the phone every microseconds 
And the question I didn't remember to ask her is the father. Has, has there been any case of cheating in your marriage before? Because I think that's... I think, I don't know, I don't know. I, I've not asked her, I don't even know how to ask a married woman that kind of question, asking her if there's been case of infertility or if there's a case of cheating before in the in, in the past and her husband is not now like really loves her want to keep her and doesn't want to uh, doesn't want that kind of thing to repeat itself again so if there's I, I don't know you guys what do you think is this something I can ask someone then yeah oh have you had issues like this with your husband before I don't know I feel like it's weird asking someone that kind of question because I feel like that's the only way the husband would be feeling that way having this trust issues with the husband I'm going to attach attach the the video of the broken screen on this video I'm You guys, you know this is our kitchen chit chat. So I quickly want to let me quickly watch this and slice, and so we continue our gist. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Having husband who buys the wife a phone, as matching the phone every other day, every month, because she's chatting with, I don't know. Apart from chatting, like she, he literally doesn't want her to use the phone because. What's the essence of using a phone worth almost 200,000 and you can have Instagram on your phone, you can have Facebook on your phone, you can't even chat on your phone. Does it make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. So, to me, I... To me, the only thing I can say is... To me, the only thing I can say is is either there have been issue of infertility in that marriage or the husband is an extremely jealous lover. That is the only thing I have to say. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Have your husband who is so, so jealous, doesn't like you going out. Most husbands I know, we always call their wife. Where are you? What are you doing? There's a way you call your wife out of care. Oh, babe, how are you? Where are you? Hope you're fine. Just randomly checking up, your, up on your wife during the day but not where are you are you there after a few minutes okay what are you doing what are you with who are you with what are you wearing have you moved your pants are you, you know have you you know those, those kind of unnecessary questions when are you coming back are you coming back what are you doing there a married woman like you you're not supposed to stay at her all those unnecessarily every microseconds call i can't take that i'm sorry to say maybe because i'm not groomed that way or my husband or my husband has taught me Having to call your wife every day. My, wait, I'm coming. My wife, my husband will always say, call your wife every. If you put your piano now, I'm in the kitchen. Come here. Check even do unse noko sa zu sa ose noa. Mini gaba koni va. Ten mini niya. Sa zu sa ose kanguya. My husband will always say. Calling your wife every day doesn't mean that if she wants to cheat on you, she will cheat on you. The cheating does it take does it take infinity? Of course not. A wife that will cheat on you will cheat even under your nose. So it doesn't matter how many times you call her every day. If she wants to cheat on you, she will cheat on you in that same city. Some husbands too doesn't allow their wife to travel because they feel like, oh, when my wife travels, she 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 gets wild and a uh, uh, man toast her and she will lose guard and something will happen. Like <laughs> the way me have been jumping around Nigeria this past this past few months from Lagos to Abuja to Ibadan to Pat to Kapotakot, and a wife that will cheat even in your very nose, even in your compound we cheat and you won't even have idea and you'll still be calling her she'll be answering you very well oh i'm in the house and she doesn't go out she's always at home but she's cheating on you so if your husband watching me here just find a way to trust your wife find and if your wife watching find a way to trust your husband and uh, vice versa basically <coughs> i don't stress myself when it comes to issue of fertility because i just try to trust my husband no matter what i trust my husband no matter what you're saying i trust him and that ends it
case closed it's not even a chapter to discuss let me go ahead i'm done slicing my onions i'm done slicing this let me go ahead with my cooking like i'll talk to you guys when some guys i'm done cooking you can see it's behind me but I see go ahead yeah. wash it yes go ahead so i still want to quickly cook on right plantain so i can just put in the freezer for the week and uh what is so basically i think you guys it's crazy being in the kitchen and multitasking at the same time so i couldn't even concentrate to give you guys a gist but i'm happy i was able to when i was doing some little things i was able to just sit stand and chit chat regarding this excessively jealous lover jealous husband jealous wife as the case may be i've seen on social media where a wife chopped off the husband's manhood because he called the husband cheating <laughs> so a whole lot of things have been going on regards the case of excess jealousy i don't think i'm comfortable with a spouse that is too too jealous too jealous like be jealous of me love me like be jealous of me like cherish me like, don't want any other person to have me spouse but not jealous to the extreme not jealous to the extreme to the extent of smashing the phone cutting off the pennies or trying to maybe discover that your husband has a side chick and going to the side chick's place to embarrass or to cause a scene and the whole lot of other things anyway do let me know your thoughts in the comment section right now i just want to quickly make gary and just eat i'm so hungry eat and then continue with the rest of the things i want to cook yeah if you enjoyed this kind of story time in the kitchen even though i wasn't really carrying you guys along the cooking and all those procedure you guys i'm not the cma i'm not delicious kitchen which other person i'm not fantastic favor <laughs> this channel is not a cook channel if you want a proper cook channel videos kind of uh, you go over to see Miss videos or you go fantastic favor or Z delicious right yeah just go over to their channel you see proper details they even leave description on the details on how they cook all the yummy yummy food but now this is just me gisting and chatting with you guys in my kitchen my little little kitchen i'll talk to you guys in my next video if you love this video share 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 subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 100k this year yeah that's our goal for this year 100k subscribers to say to the glory of god the father the son and the holy ghost go away order orchestrate our step order our step to that right content that will blow us up yatago god bless you her and thank you let me continue my cooking okay bye, -bye.